Welcome back to More Sip the Tally. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today we're going to talk a little defense on the channel. We don't get a chance to talk a lot of defense because, as you know, I'm an offensive guy. But today we're going to talk a little bit about Frankie Louvi, linebacker for the Carolina Panthers. And in week 11, as you know, we're going doing our backtrack of impressive performances throughout the 2022 season. And week 11, he had 12 tackles, two sacks, and an impressive win versus the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, one sack was kind of iffy, but his other sack was legit. And he had, he he sh displayed a fair amount of uh, good ability to change directions and using his hands when taking on blocks. So I got about seven-ish plays that I want to show to you. And um, so I didn't do every tackle because some tackles are down the field on like seven, eight-yard gains. So there's nothing he did crazy on those tackles. But I, wanna sh I got about six or seven plays I want to show you where he displayed, you know, a good amount of ability. And so let's get into Frankie Louvi's game versus the Atlanta Falcons in week 12 and show you what I liked about him. Shout out to Brydney, the Carolina Panthers fan that joins us on the roundup Mondays at 9. Shout out B. So Louvi's number 49. So just to give you, you know, an idea of what number to look for. Let's dive right into it. And right now he does a good job of taking on the block by Pitts. And what he does here is he keeps his outside arm free. And by doing that, you'll see he keeps this lane, that lane where his right arm is free. He allows the pursuit from everybody. And you see the different angles coming from the guys that can potentially tackle Patterson. But by setting that edge, he keeps the pursuit angles open for everybody. And if Patterson, you know, ignores the fact that he has that outside line, lane set, the guys, you know, he'll make the tackle. But if he does cut back, the other guys has the opportunity to make that tackle. But Patterson ignores it. And so now he's in perfect position to make that. Because Patterson should have recognized that, hey, he has that set. So I'm going to cut back. And he would have cut back into all those other guys' lanes. But he doesn't. Now he's in perfect position to make that tackle. So that's a good job of, like, just setting the edge. And we all know Pitts is not a great blocker. We know this. But Carolina, I mean, not Carolina, Atlanta tried to make him a blocker. And this job, Louie did a great job of, you know, just taking advantage of Pitts not being a good blocker. Set the edge. Cordell didn't adjust. But even if he had adjusted, you had all those guys with great pursuit angles. So there was really nowhere for him to cut back to. And it's a good job of playing team football. Good job of Louie playing good team football. Let's go to the second play. And this is a good job of him using his hands. Didn't take on blockers with his shoulders and whatnot. Didn't allow the blocker to just, you know, watch. Look at his hands. And extend. Get away from him. It's a good job of playing with his hands. A lot of times, a lot of linebackers don't play with their hands. They get in there with the shoulders and allow the, the lineman to hold them. Because the lineman going to hold them. If he tried to go in there with his shoulders, all that lineman is going to do is get his hands right up under the shoulder pads and just grab. And just grab. That's all they're going to do is just grab. But by him extending his arms and playing with his hands, he was able to push and get away and get that free arm on the tackle. Linebackers got to play with their hands because if they don't, the lineman going to hold. <laughs> they talk to hold. I talk, I talk guys to hold, <laughs> especially if they don't play with their hands. But he did a good job of playing with them. Now, does he do that all the time? I don't know. But this game he did. You see him playing, you know, playing outside of the box a little bit right here, playing over Kyle Pitts. And a little pass coverage. You know, just a good job of tackling Cordell. I didn't mean to put that one in there, so let's skip that one. My bad. That slid in. That sneaked me. Let's go to the next one. Now he's back in the box over the guard. Watch the redirect. Playing with his hands again. Stick his foot in the ground. The back redirects. He redirects. And look how fast he closed. And we all know Patterson is, is pretty darn fast. Redirects with his hand. Look at his hands. Look at his hands while his eyes on Patterson. Stick his foot in the ground. Redirects with his hands. Gets rid of the lineman. And before Patterson can get two steps, he's already taken three or four and is at full speed before Patterson can accelerate and gets the tackle. It's a great job of playing linebacker right there. Great job of playing in traffic. Watch him play in traffic too. Notice everything that's going on around him. Notice everything that's going on around him. You got... You got this going on in front of him. Hold on. Let me get something to draw with. Got that going on in front of him. 
You got that going on around him. And he's going to make his way all across there to get there. That's playing in traffic. Having spatial awareness. Having spatial awareness. And he's going to get on the other side of 97. Playing in space. Knowing your surroundings. This is his sack right here. Let's get to his sack. Coming in the A gap. It really was unblocked. So they caused a confusion. Really caused a confusion. And that's you just when you get the opportunity, you can't miss. And so there's nothing really special about it, but just when you get your opportunity. And let's keep in mind, he's a shell of what he used to be, but that guy can move. And I'm talking about Mar Marcus Mariota. Mariota's a guy that can move. So when you get your opportunities, don't miss. Don't miss. Now, did he get a lot of him? No. Did he, like, knock his head off? No. He got him down for a sack, and that's all that matters. All that matters is you see this referee coming in there, pointing at the ground. That's a sack on your record. That's all that matters. That's it. That's all you get. You see this guy pointing at the ground? <laughs> that, that's, that's, that's what counts. It's a sack on the board. The whistle blows, a sack on the board. And then this last play, which is something I didn't know he can do. He's way over here on this opposite side. Watch him run this down from the backside. I didn't know he can go like this. He's unblocked, but it's in a stretch away from him. That's, that's something right there. And I understand it's a little stutter step from the, from the running back. A little stutter right there that kind of helps him out. But again, that's unblocked from the, the very backside to go get that. That's effort. That's all effort right here. This is all effort. This is no talent required. This is just straight effort. To go all out. And again, he he has, one thing about this is he sold, sold, sold out for this. Because he has, he has Mariota. He has Mariota. So, I don't know what, you know, what, what cue he had just to sell out and go get it. Because he has to kind of slow play it. Because what if Mariota boots this? He's wide open. He's wide open. So, whatever cue he had to just go get it. Or did he just gamble? Maybe he just gambled. But he gambled right on that one. He was able to get a TFL from the backside. Was able to get a TFL from the backside. So we'll see. And he had great effort that great effort this game, which allowed him to have 12 tackles. Had the two sacks, which was one of his best games of the season. And I just wanted to highlight Frankie Luvy from the Carolina Panthers. And again, shout out to Brightney for uh, joining us every Monday at 9 o'clock on the Roundup. And this is a uh, salute to the Panthers. Frankie Luvy for that 12 tackle, two sack game in week, in week 10 of the NFL season from 2022. And again, uh, like, comment, share, all you Panthers fans out there. You know, if you got a chance to check this out, my Ravens fans, uh, thank you for coming through. It could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with us on More Sip the Tally. Next, uh, next week coming up, you'll hear from me Friday. We're going to start doing stuff over here every other day. So Friday will be the next one. Then you'll get something Sunday, then Tuesday. And that's how we rolling. Uh, see you soon. Peace.